Hey there, I'll show you a little video on this uh, Verizon Samsung Note 2. I did the uh, unlock bootloader, rooted it, added ROM, and I unlocked the SIM on it. And the model I have is the i605, or in the box it says SCHI605. Um, when I went to the internet, I had to do a lot of research. Um, it's been a long time since I unlocked a phone. I had a original iPhone when they came out that I unlocked uh, years ago. But anyways, I got on YouTube. Uh, I was looking at Droid Mod 3RX channel. Very good video on casual. Uh, he, he runs you through it on how to... Now they've come up with a one-click uh, unlock bootloader and a route for the phone. And you know, he, he walks you right through the process. The only thing difference is, I'm not sure if it's my phone or casual, but when you get to the point where you need to install a driver, <clears throat> on there it says to install one called Samsung USB uh, Composite Device on, on the pull-down. When I pulled mine down, it wasn't there. You're just going to pull it down and click on uh, Gadget Serial for your driver, and it'll, it'll install just fine. Uh, once you know the boot bootloader uh, is unlocked and it's rooted, then I went onto the internet and I downloaded uh, Jedi X ROM. Uh, the way you want to get that on your phone is you put your uh, memory SD card into the computer, put the zip file onto the SD card, pull the SD card back out, put it into your phone, and then from there find the file and download it onto your phone. Now on the SIM, let me show you what I did. Let me go ahead and turn on the phone. And a little background to the phone, I bought this oh, maybe a month ago from Verizon. I paid for it outright, did a month-to-month -month plan. After two months, I mean, I'm sorry, after two weeks of using the phone, I seen that I was consuming way too much data, so I went back to a previous provider I was using. And then I was pretty much either stuck with the phone, had to sell it, or had to find a way to unlock the SIM. And through a lot of searching on the Internet, I did find it. And I will show you what I did once it starts up. I got some messages popping up. Let me clear those out. All right, as you can see on the phone, <clears throat> this is a Verizon phone, first of all. And it says on there ATT Smart Buddy. Smart Buddy is the SIM card that I have installed in there right now. I had that sent to me from overseas. That got here today. It lets me know I'm, I'm roaming because to use that SIM card you have to put your phone on roaming. So let me go ahead and open this up. I'll show you what I did. Go into apps, settings. You can see I'm using uh, Jedi ROM. Some tricks for Jedi ROM that you like a lot. He's got a lot of options on here you can use. Uh, Pi launcher controls, it's uh, very cool to have on the phone. Just enabled that to show you what that does is when you're on any screen or home screen, you just touch off to the side of the screen. There's your Pi controls. You can set up any control or app you want on that, and then you just simply move your finger around to whatever app you want to open, let your finger off, and that app will open. Now to go into the sim. And just to let you know too that once that I got that SIM card today, I guess they call it a mini SIM. Uh, I've already cut it out to fit. Um, that's basically the size it was. I guess this would be a macro or micro uh, SIM card that comes in the phone now. I've seen online that you can go on Amazon.com and buy this uh, machine where you put it in there and it pops it out. Uh, other people had these diagrams where you lay your SIM card down trace it out and cut it. Basically what I did was I set uh, the Verizon SIM card on top of this one, drew some lines, cut it out, and it works fine. As you can tell, it's very, not that hard to cut. Basically a square with a little notch on top. You match them up, one on top of the other. Works fine. Um, to unlock the SIM, once I unlocked the bootloader, rooted it, and installed Jedi X, which you can see is on there, I was looking on the internet, and I guess a lot of people have, uh, I've read a few blogs, it was Canadian phones or international phones, where you could go into your phone, let me go ahead and open this up, you could go into your phone, 
hit this code, uh, you know, go into your SIM and unlock it. That wasn't the case for the i605. But once it was rooted and I did the bootloader and had Jedi X, I was then able to, but I had to go to it, go through a different route to unlock the SIM. So just like the internet says, as I'm sure you've seen on many blogs, you want to hit the star pound one nine seven three two eight six four zero pound. Then you're in the service mode. <clears throat> now, if I remember right on the internet, you wanted to go into number one, then you wanted to debug, and this is not the right way. This, I'm just showing you the way they had it on the blog. You wanted to go into phone controls. Uh, you wanted to go into network lock, and in my phone, that was far as I could go, and that was a problem. Now, to unlock it, I'm going to go back into the star pound one nine seven three two eight six four zero pound, <clears throat> and you want to go into number four, which it just says SIM on it. Once you go into number four, you want to deactivate the FTM and you want to disable the ENS. And once you click on that, it's, all it's going to say is, please wait 90 seconds to reboot your phone. It says the same thing on number 5. Uh, please wait 90 seconds, then reboot your phone. We'll go ahead and click one. That's what it says. Please wait for 90 sec seconds. After then, please reboot your phone. So I did that on both of those. Got the SIM card in a day. Like I said, I went ahead and cut it out. And the last thing I did is I put the SIM in there, went to settings, more settings, mobile networks, and then network mode. Click network mode, and mine was on GSM backslash WCDMA auto mode. You want to click GSM only. Once I click that, I went ahead and took mobile data off because I got Wi Fi here, and uh, I'm basically using this SIM just for texting and phone calls because right now this phone you know, thinks it's in an Asian country, it has no idea it's in the USA. And, you know, there's reasons to why I did it, but that's not the point. So we're going to go back, and I will show you. Go down to About Device. I, it's, uh, there's Jedi X build number. I'm going to go into Status. Cover up the phone number. But as you can see, my phone number is now a plus 63939. So it is now a Asian... I mean, I know what country it is, it's not the point, but the point is that the sim's unlocked. You can see it's unroaming, I have full bars. So now when friends from this country text me, it only calls, costs them, you know, one penny compared to if they were texting you before to your USA phone, it was costing them on average 20 cents per text. So now it's unlocked, note 2, uh, cut the sim, you can buy your own sim cutter, I did it my own way. It worked. If you want any more information, uh, please leave me a note. Like I said, uh, for me to go through this whole process, uh, lots of thanks to everybody online. Uh, very easy to use, casual, one-click, unlock bootloader and root it. If you want to go with Jedi X, which I did a lot of reviews on, that they said it was you know, really superb for the Note 2, you'll download that to your computer screen. It comes in a zip file. You put your SD card in the computer, you pull the uh, zip file to the SD card, take your SD card out, put it back into the Note 2, go into the files, download it to the phone, and then from there I was able to go into, uh, into the mode where I could unlock my SIM. So I um, hope you can do the same. If you've got any questions, let me know.